Hugging face is not just about the repository of large language models. Every now and then, they also dazzle us with one model or another. In this video, I am going to introduce you to their new model called as IDFX2. This is a powerful 8 billion vision language model for the whole community. So as I said, IDFX2 is a general multimodal model that takes as input arbitrary sequences of text and images and generates text responses. It can answer questions about images, describe visual content, create stories grounded in multiple images, extract information from documents and perform basic arithmetic operations. IDFX2 improves upon the previously IDFX1 with 8 billion parameters and the license is really to die for it is Apache 2 which is a very very open license and enhanced OCR optical character recognition capabilities. IDFX2 is a strong foundation for the community working on multimodality. Its performance on VQA or visual question answering benchmarks is top of its class size as you can see in this figure and competes with much larger models such as Lava Next 34 billion and MM1 30 billion chat. IDFX2 is also integrated in transformers from the get go and is straightforward to fine tune for many multimodal applications. They have also given a fine tuning collab in the model card and I will drop the link in video's description. But just a heads up in order to do the inference or in order to do the fine tuning, you would need a really powerful GPU, maybe A100 or H100. I think H100 would be better. Now, if you look at the benchmarking, lot of things are there, but I would let you explore it. Another really cool thing about is this training data. So IDFX2 was trained on a mixture of openly available data sets for the pre-training, uh, which includes interleaved web documents, that is Wikipedia Obelix, and also image caption pairs like public multimodal data set, Lion, Coco, and then for OCR data, it has PDFA, IDL, and render text, and also image to code data, which is website. The interactive visualization allows exploring the Obelix data set. Also, uh, following the common practice of the foundation model community, Hugging Face has also trained the base model on task-oriented data. However, these data are often in disparate format and scattered in various places. Gathering them is a barrier for community to address that problem. They have released the multimodal instruction fine-tuning fine data set they have been cooking called as Cauldron. And I believe uh, even more than the model, I am very excited about this cauldron because it's an open compilation of 50 manually curated data sets formatted for multi ton conversation. They have instruction fine tuned IDFX2 on concatenation of cauldron and various text only instruction fine tuning data set. Now, there are a lot of improvements over the previous version. For instance, they have manipulated images in their native resolution up to 980 into 980 and also native aspect ratio by following the Navit strategy. That primarily has circumvented the need to resize images to fix size scale as it has been historically been done in the computer vision community. They have also significantly enhanced the OCR capabilities by integrating data that requires a model to transcribe text in an image or a document. They also have got improved abilities in answering questions on charts, figures, and documents with the appropriate training data. If you look at its architecture, they have uh, departed from the IDFX 1's architecture and have simplified the integration of visual features into language backbone. So if you look at it, the images are fed to the vision encoder followed by a learned perceiver pooling and a MLP modality projection. That pooled sequence is then concatenated with a text embedding to obtain an interleaved sequence of images and text. All these improvements along with a better pre-trained backbone yielded a significant jump in the performance over IDFX1 and this model is even 10 times smaller. How good is that? Also, they have provided some sort of inference um, combination in the uh, 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 in the model card 
I have tried it out, but it is too big for my system. I just have one GPU card, so I'm not going to show you my struggles of installing it, but it is not going to work on even if you have the GPU card of 40 GB, maybe 80 GB VRAM uh, would work. Uh, even the quantized version doesn't work. There are a lot of bugs there locally, so I'm not sure um, they'll be working on it because it is just few hours old. So let's give them some time. Maybe they will iron out the uh, stuff. And but if you are still want to try it out, make sure that you install the Transformers library from the source because in the current Transformer version, you won't find ID fix too. Instead of showing it locally, let me show you a demo on Hugging Face Spaces, which you can also access. Now, once you are on this page, uh, you just need to drop the image and then play around with it. So let me test it on few of the images I have. Especially, I am very interested to see its OCR capabilities. Okay, so let's drop uh, the image here, upload it. Let me upload it from a local system. I'm going to upload an image which has this text. And then let's see if it can do the OCR. And I'm just going to ask, um, what is the text in this and click on submit. Let's see the output. It's running on zero. The speed is quite good. There you go. So it's, if I just go above, you see the quick is in parentheses, brown in braces, fox jumps. Let's see. Yep, quick here, brown fog. But you see the brown is here. The brown is in scare brackets. What about that? No, that is correct. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. The fox is in scare bracket brackets here. But here the fox is in middle bracket, so that is a fail. Uh, okay, but that jumps, it's fine. And the dollar figure, what about lazy and hash 90? That is correct. Anything else? So let's see if it is able to do this now with commas down and up. This channel. Nope, you see the commas are, it maybe it has rectified it. Maybe. Anyway, so let's see this Chow and uh, Pragosco, whatever. Chow, yep, that is correct. And then let's see Maroon. It is there an apostrophe on top of, no, there is no apostrophe on top of Maroon. So there are a few misses in the OCR. But I would say still good enough. Still good enough. I mean, not bad at all. In my experiences with other tools. Let's try out a few other examples. So let me upload another image. So I'm uploading an image from Australian Outback and you see that there are a few birds, tree, sunset, three kangaroos. And I'll just say what is in this image. And this is not a chat model. This is just you can question answer with it. There you go. Kangaroos under the sun with birds flying away. So, or let's say how many kangaroos are in this image? It's good. Is okay. How many birds are there in this image? Let's see. Let's wait. Still counting. Meanwhile, we'll. Count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It says 20 words, so that is wrong. <laughs> okay, let's try out one more image. This is an image of Australian Outback. I'm just asking what is. Um, this location in this if it says if it says desert or it says something like Australia location is desert name the country red soil is specific to Australian desert so let's see Australia, there you go. How good is that? So quite good. I mean, quite impressive. 
I would say. And that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will drop the link to its model card in the video description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.